Today I'm going to be talking about self-portraiture, one of my favorite forms of photography and why it is important for the artistic growth. Of course, everything that I say here is based on my own experience as I'm going to tell you a little part of my story of how I started photography. Six years ago, when I took photography a little bit more seriously, I was in a very difficult period of my life and something was telling me to learn more about this medium, how it works and how I can express myself through it. Because up until that point, I only took photos with a point and shoot or with my phone without any knowledge of photography. I found an old camera with the same old story that many photographers found their first camera. It's a Canon AE-1, I still have it of course, and with this film camera I started exploring a whole new world. As I've already told you, when I started photography I was in a very difficult phase of my life. I was trying to find myself I guess that means to know myself and accept it and photography was for me the way to express my feelings and explore the issues that I was dealing with. By that time I was an actress and working independently like one can work with photography was liberating for me. I only knew how to express through group work and communication with others Theatre is a very unique art form, uh, very physical and engaging of course, but it was not what I needed at that point in terms of expressing myself. I guess the path that leads us to what we like and what we enjoy doing is different for each person and it is not linear. So I took my camera and I started taking self-portraits. It was more of an instinctive choice for me. I didn't think about it. It's just what I needed because I didn't need any models. I didn't need to arrange a certain point in time for a meeting. I could do it whenever I want and with my own terms. And that's what I needed at that point. After this small story, uh, let's go now to talk about why self-portraits are important for the artistic growth. By taking self-portraits, you can learn photography fast. It has the advantage that you can do it alone, where you have enough time to experiment without the pressure to deliver certain results in a given time frame. And what we can learn with self-portrait does not narrow down only to portraiture rules and lighting patterns in portrait photography. You can learn how to compose, where to place your subject and why and how, how body works. You can learn about exposure, which settings to use, its time and why. self-portraits you explore not only your self-image but also what's going on in a psychological level your weaknesses your fears whatever it is that each one of us is struggling with in a more personal level that has to do I guess with identity and self-acceptance self-portraits put you in a position where you can see yourself in a raw way it is a self-discovery act and an introspection in a way because when you learn who you are, when you know yourself, your vision becomes more clear. And by growing as a person, you grow as a photographer because you know what you want, you know what you should and why. Communication with people that you photograph or include in your pictures becomes easier. When you have played the role of the model, you know how to direct them and to give clear directions about what you want from them. You can understand how they feel when they are photographed, when they feel uncomfortable, so you know better how to talk to them and what to say. 
because you've been there many times. So if you're thinking about expressing through photography or if you're already a photographer that never tried self-portraits, I'm really encouraging you to give it a try. It is very special to see yourself in the camera and not care how you look, but instead look how the angle works, if the body position is communicating what you want, or if the lighting worked. Why did you take this portrait? Even if you do not seemingly know the reason, just by questioning yourself and looking at the self-portrait of yours, a new path of self-discovery opens up and I guess you become more aware of yourself and it could be a very good start to accept and start loving yourself if you're dealing with these issues that are very common issues. I'm not saying that I got healed or that I resolved all my traumas uh, by doing self-portraits or art in general, but it is a stimulus for introspection to identify what you're struggling with. So this was my story of how I approached photography and yeah, I hope to make more videos about this topic in the future. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you like it or if you found any value in this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye!